welcome to this week's studio vlog. Now it was meant to be a studio vlog of a day in the life of me um, but what keeps happening is I keep forgetting to press record when I'm doing just ordinary stuff. So it, I've tr honestly, believe me, I've tried this now for four days and each day I get up with the intention and I'm like today I'm going to remember to video everything and I do it really well for a bit and then in the afternoon I kind of forget um, so I've just realised that I am not very good at doing a day in life vlogs <laughs> so I'm giving up I am giving up so this video is a compilation of kind of like a, a week <laughs> all mixed together. Uh, I hope it makes sense. So every day is different for me. Um, I'm an artist, I'm a zine maker, I'm a Patreon creator, uh, I'm an Etsy seller, I'm also a mum to fur babies and to human people um, and every day is just totally different. But basically every morning starts the same. I get up, I feed the dogs, I let them out, I go in the garden, I fill the bird feeder up, um, I pick up the dog muck, which is not very glamorous and I haven't videoed that bit, um, and then I journal and I meditate and I do some exercise and read a little bit and then go on my phone for ages, doing social media and then I start doing a bit of work, whatever's like most important. So if that's orders, I do my orders first. Um, or if it's a painting, I get on with painting. And then I have my smoothie for breakfast on the weekdays. Um, but in the, on the weekend we go to the Herb, which you'll see, uh, which is a really lovely plant-based cafe uh, in Lancaster where we live. So it, it's kind of a similar thing um, and then later on in the afternoon it just all depends on what's going on in my life for Etsy and for Patreon. So you will see that this week I have been um, finishing the zines, I have been making my delightful magazine which is a Patreon reward and I've also been making my pen pal rewards as well. So that's because we're coming to the end of the month and the first and second and third of the month is when I send everything out to all my patrons um, or patrons um, as some people call them I call them both because it's on patreon um, but yeah so that's that's what I do at the um, end of the month and then I've got some commissions that I need to finish as well so it just yeah it all depends sometimes if it's a nice day I'll go for a walk in nature and stuff like that sometimes I'm doing videos so I think the thing is when you're self-employed and you're a creative no two days are exactly the same um, they have a kind of a rhythm well this is for me I'm not talking for all creatives because a lot of people might get up and be like really organized and have everything set I do have a planner like a planner calendar that I make at the beginning of the month where I put important things in so if I've got interviews or I've got to um, schedule things in I put them in the planner but generally I'm a bit of a free spirit so I will decide on the day like I tune in and feel what I want to do today and if it is that I want to spend an hour reading I will spend an hour reading if it is that I feel like I really need to get into nature then I will go and get into nature and I fit my work around that kind of thing um, so it is different to how some people work but that's just how I work anyway enough waffling on about me trying to make a video <laughs> um, enjoy the video here it is Morning Stanley. Go 
Come on. Each morning I try um, to do some journaling, my gratitude diary and read a passage out of The Woman Inside Diary which is by S.C. Laurie, uh, she's called Butterfly and Pebbles. Um, I don't do this every day um, but I do try and do it most days. Uh, if I'm like super busy and stuff sometimes I just get up and go straight to doing work and stuff but I find that if I take this time to just be in the morning it's just nicer for the whole day ahead so on some days you've got passages and then other days it's just blank so on the days where it's just blank like for today what I do is I just go back and read one of the other passages so let's just choose this one today to grow despite the hardness surrounding this is what it means to be living in your wild. 
to not let the darkness break you forever, but inside, instead to grow because of it. In the same way that flowers do, this is also what it means to be living in your wild. Be so proud of all the time you have done this. So it's just like little words of comfort and reassurance and things like that. It's a really lovely diary though. And then I move on to my gratitude journal, which as you can see is full of pages of things that I'm grateful for. And basically I just fill a page of all the things that I'm grateful for. So let's have a look at this. I just opened that at random. It says, I am grateful for the community. I am grateful for sunshine. I am grateful for blossom on the trees. I am grateful to release weight. I am grateful to be fit and healthy. I am grateful for love and compassion. I am grateful for all the zine orders. I'm grateful for the commissions I get this month and feel aligned and joyous and fill my heart with love. I'm grateful for people loving what I create and sharing with friends. I'm grateful for a wonderful Tom. Tom's my partner. I'm grateful for nice clothes. I'm grateful for spring flowers. I'm grateful for time in the garden. I'm grateful for magic and its power. I'm grateful I can read and write. I'm grateful to be alive in this moment feeling grateful. I'm grateful for ideas and creativity. I'm grateful for my studio and I'm grateful to finish all my to-dos. So that was just one day out of all of them and they're all different. And at first you're like, oh yeah, I'm grateful to be alive and I'm grateful for my house, but what else am I grateful for? And then you realise there's so many things that, to be grateful for. And the great thing is when you're in gratitude, you can't, you can't feel bad when you're feeling grateful because the two just don't go together. So I will be writing my whole gratitude list in a minute. And then I've also got this positive thought book and in this I write any dreams. So I've got a list in the front of it um, and it goes up to 100 but it could go up as high as you wanted. And it's all things that I would like to do or experience so think big things like move to Norway and own a house and then little things like um, learn to swim well it's not little but you know what I mean it's a smaller more accessible thing um, so there's yeah there's all sorts so I like to add to that if I think of something and then in the back I've got my top 10 dream life things it's not actually 10 i've got one two three four five six i've got seven at the minute um and the, yeah so things like write and publish a book and it becomes a bestseller i'd love that uh, create oracle decks that people love move to norway and own a house with a theme here and um, get married and have a really lovely day celebrating our love um, for all my sons to be in healthy, happy, stable relationships with good jobs and nice places to live. To be healthy, strong, loved and abundant until a very old age. And to travel to lots more countries and have wonderful adventures. So, in a minute, I can't think of three more, but I'm sure they'll come. So I don't write in that every day, just when I'm inspired. And then every day I pick an oracle deck. Now I've got loads of different oracle decks up there. But for this past week I've been using this native spirit one by Denise Lynn. Um, and yeah, it's been really lovely and reassuring. So yesterday I got ancestors. And I had a very emotional day yesterday. Thinking about my mum. And how much I miss her. So yeah, it's really interesting. So... Let's, let's pick a card now, should we? And see what we get for the day ahead. It's hard to shuffle these because they're so shiny. Oh, that one looks like it's the one. Spirit Keeper of the North. So let's see what it says about that. Oh, it's a wintry scene, that one. Let's have a look. Spirit Keeper of the North. Spirit Keeper of the North. Take time for contemplation. Turn within. Connect with your ancestors. Again. Uh, incubate ideas. Mend relationships. Watch your dreams and meditate. The answers are inside you waiting to be heard. Stay warm. Create dreams for your future. 
Repair whatever is broken in your home and life. Forgive those people and situations that you've been dragging around for a while. Your native spirit wants you to know. In the medicine wheel, the north is a direction that symbolises the darkest time of night, the coldest part of winter, the dark of the moon. It also represents the elder time of life and even the time of endings. Pulling the spirit keeper of the north indicates that it's time to measure your life. Explore what's working and what's not working. What and whom do you need to release? It's also the time to make repairs in your physical environment, as well as make repairs to your body. Additionally, this is the time to begin your dream and make plans regarding your future. Your ancestors are close at this time, so call on them. They want to help you. If you live in the Southern Hemisphere and draw this card, uh, read Spirit Keeper of the South instead. I live in the, the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, for the meanings are reversed in that one, if you're in the South. The journey. Stand outdoors at night, facing north. Inhale the darkness. Sink into your own depths. And in the stillness, ancient wisdom emerges. So I'll do that tonight. Because it's morning at the minute. So yes, yeah, Spirit Keeper of the North. Um, when I first got this Oracle deck, I looked at it and I thought, oh, I'm not, I'm not really interested in it because it's, ju it was just like pictures and words on it. But actually, the more I've played with it and the more I've used it, the more I've really liked it. Um, and it always seems to have the right message at the right time. Uh, they, but they're always like that, aren't they? I find Oracle decks. So yeah, I pull a card, I enjoy my mint tea, I just sit a little bit and then after that I will do some meditation and then I will do my exercise class and you'll see that later on. But before all that, I want to show you, I won a competition on Instagram from Womancraft Publishing. I was so happy and so excited. I won five books and four four of my friends I think it was or five of my friends won a book each as well and yesterday they arrived so I got Creatrix A She Who Makes by Lucy Pierce and I can't wait to delve into this I was gonna buy it a few weeks ago and then I thought I'm gonna wait and see if I win that competition and I did so that's gonna be great um, Medicine Woman by Lucy Pierce as well I saw this a few years ago when I was in New York it was in the airport and I saw the cover and I was like, oh, I need that book. But uh, the price in America was like bonkers, um, probably because it was at the airport. So I finally got that one. But actually reading the blurb on the back, it's not um, what I imagined it to be. So that's going to be interesting to delve into that. I also got Moontime by Lucy Pierce as well. Um, this is all about a woman's moon time and I do know a lot about that already um, but it's always good to learn more and this one is called The Mistress of Longing Ooh la la, uh, by Wendy Havler Cherry um, I hope I've said that name right and this is all about an invitation to listen and trust the deep feminine that longs to be heard mm. And I've also got another book come in, but it's not released yet. Um, and that'll be out soon. And so they'll be sending me that later. So I'm super excited. What a lovely, lovely thing by, by Womancraft Publishing. It's a beautiful company and it champions women authors um, that are just, yeah, just, just lovely. Really, really lovely. So if you've not seen them on Instagram, check them out. And I shall be reading some of this lovely book in a little bit um because i think it's going to be really really nice so i will now get on with my gratitude journal
Hi, so I just walked up the giant hill and now I'm in a little park that's just at the top of the hill from around the corner where we live and I have obviously got dressed and now I'm going to the big park which is called Williamson's Park to record my Patreon video for this week. So I'm in the big park now and this is where they sometimes do outdoor theatre um, it's a really lovely spot and they've made all the bench bits out of tree trunks which is really cute and if you walk up this is the other part of the outdoor theatre it's full of beautiful birds today the rest of the outdoor theatre park and behind all those trees you can hardly see it now because they're full of leaves but that is Ashton Memorial and Lord Ashton had it built for his wife isn't that romantic Hello my lovelies, I was going to show you around the park, which is what I've been doing in the video just before, but it started to rain, so that's really, really frustrating. Anyway, today I've just made a Patreon video and I was over by the waterfall bit that you could see, but it was so loud with the water and all the rain and the stuff coming down that I've come and sat in this little hut and it's got like really nice acoustics if you wanted to sing. Um, well, I won't put you through that. So that's what I've been doing so far. I've been walking through the park and I've just made a Patreon video which is exclusive to my Patreons, which is on my channel and there's a link below the video. Um, but if you just go on patreon.com and search Dr. Delightful, I shall appear. Uh, so now I'm just going to walk through the park a bit more, but I don't know if I can do any more videoing because the rain's coming down quite heavy, uh, which is annoying because I don't have a coat. And then I will go back home. And the next thing on the agenda is to have a smoothie because I am really hungry and it's, I don't know what time it is, but it's after dinner time and I, I don't eat, we do fasting. So um, I don't eat until after 12 in the morning. So that's what I will be doing next. Back home now and it's smoothie time. So did you know that when you put your bananas in your smoothie that you can use the banana skins on your face? So you rub them all over your face and apparently it makes you youthful. And you can also rub them on your teeth 
to make them whiter as well now rubbing them on your face is really nice i do that quite often but rubbing them on your teeth feels ugly it's like um all loads of bits in your mouth and it's not nice at all and you can also clean your shoes with bananas as well they polish up really well uh, there's loads of things you can do with your banana skins so i like to compost them and rub them on my face but there's lots of other things that you can do too so I've now just added strawberries, blueberries, cherries, blackcurrant and blackberries and I will also be adding oat milk and some uh, peanut butter. This one is palm oil free so that's nice because it helps the uh, orangutan not to be hurt and also I'll be adding to that some magnesium and some turmeric as well turmeric's really good for inflammation and magnesium we are all lacking in magnesium because the way that the soil has been farmed over and over and over again um, so we're really lacking in magnesium and that can lead to headaches muscle aches tiredness all sorts of stuff and especially as a perimenopausal woman um, I need to keep my magnesium levels up so I'll be having that as well and also I will be adding a little spoon of some reishi mushrooms which is in powder form it looks like chocolate but it smells it smells a bit like chocolate like like a musty chocolate I'm not selling it am I but I'll be putting some of that in as well to give me a a boost for the day um, and I won't record it doing its thing on the blender because it's so loud super loud I just realized before that when I was in the kitchen the camera was really fuzzy because the phone had got rained on earlier when I was out at the park Anyway, my smoothie is ready now and it's lovely but freezing. You get a brain freeze with it. So what I'm going to do now is package up all the orders for Etsy and wrap them all up, sew my uh, zines and then the next stop will be the post office. Okay, so you know what I just realised? That I went into town and did all my post office stuff and came back and totally forgot to video any of it um <laughs> so yeah a day a day in the life with a big bit cut out of it oh um in fairness it was raining so i think that's what put me off as well and um i keep totally forgetting to just video things that i'm i just do um so yeah this is a big learning curve so i'm back home now um, with my cup of coffee and I am on Canva um, I shall show you um, and I am making my magazine for my patrons so every month I make a magazine can you see um, an online digital one for my Moon Sisters tier so I'm just working on that now um, and I'll be doing that for the well the rest of today um, until I have to make some tea and probably all day Sunday as well it takes me a, a couple of days to, to make it um, so yeah I can't believe that that I've totally missed out going to the post office nothing happened it wasn't really interesting I just I got some tofu from single step which is the um, co-op that has been in my other video um, I posted the letters, I went to Marks and Spencers and got some uh, chickpeas, some organic chickpeas um, and I came home and then stripped off because I'm boiling, like even though it's raining it's really humid so that's it, so nothing, there wasn't anything interesting, I didn't see anything interesting um, but you're just going to have to pretend, <laughs> you'll just have to pretend for that bit so yeah so i'm working on my delightful magazine now um until it's time to make dinner
So what I've realised is when you are making a day in the life video that you've got to keep remembering to video your day in life. <laughs> so things that you just do normally, like honestly I just keep forgetting, it's really really weird. Like when I do a studio vlog, I know that like the stuff that I'm making to video it and things like that, but when you're doing a video of your normal day to day life, it's like, why do you want to video that? So just before you see, saw me eating my tea cake, and I'm having a nice cup of tea, and um, I watched this guy on YouTube called Avant Garden Vegan, and he does all these uh, meal prep recipes. So um, when I'm like having my breakfast or something like that, I'll watch him, or Russell Brand, I like to watch him as well. Um, just before I get into the working day. So today I am working on my delightful magazine which is for my Patreon Moon Sisters tier and um, you will see that here it is and this is what I'm working on. So hopefully by the end of the day I will have finished that. I've also got some paintings to do and um, I'm just doing like house stuff like laundry and things like that as well so my day in the life video that started off on one day is like merged over three days um, because I keep forgetting to record things so I'm just gonna go with it like I could have edited it and been like oh this is just one day in my life um, but that would seem really weird uh, so yeah so that's what I'm just gonna get on with for the rest of the day and then Tom is at Wembley because his team are playing in the finals. So I have got a full day on my own um, and an evening on my own as well. So I think later on I'll be having a nice relaxing bath and then probably get into bed early and read. So that's what I will get on with. So I'm currently um, making things for my Patreon pen pal reward um, and I've been painting flowers on watercolour uh, as you can see all different ones and then I was just doing a, a space um, like a galaxy bit and these black bits will pick off and it reveals white underneath it's made with a liquid latex um, and now I've painted all the backgrounds for all of this and chopped it up into pieces and then I'm just using the stampers and stamping on butterflies and I'll be stamping on moons as well. Um, well I'm just watching YouTube and I love watching Breeze with Bexy um, on YouTube. She's my friend and um, her channel is just really peaceful and really lovely. Um, <coughs> so that's what I'm currently doing. I've taken all the heads off the bunch of roses that Tom bought me now because they were um, dying and I'm drying them all out to keep them which is really nice. Um, and what I think is really lovely is that they, they dry in the most beautiful colour that they were already because they were like a vintage pink. Really, really nice and they still smell nice as well. So I'm just drying them out as well. And then shortly we're going to go and have a house viewing. So it's only on the next street. 
um, but we have been given notice on our beautiful house because the landlady's selling it so I'm not sure if I mentioned that before um, so we've got to go and view another house and uh, at the minute houses are so like rare to come by because I think everybody's want wanting them um, so we're gonna do that shortly go and have a view of the house and fingers crossed it's it's all going to be good because we've only got um till july to find somewhere pack everything up and move out which is really quick um so yeah that's what i'm up to at the minute mm -hmm. 